Hey guys, what's up? Black and Oli here. Welcome back to the second half of the PBE cycle for 5.21. We want to go over all the changes. That's a very tiny patch, and if you've missed any of last week's updates, you can check out the video right here. You can click on the annotation now, or you can click on the link in the description to be taken to last week's episode. Now, if you're all done with that, you can watch what's going on. It's very light, so you're not going to be here long, so let me guide you through all the updates. So sit back, relax, grab something delicious, maybe like a nice cup of water or something like that, and we'll get right into it. In this latest PBE cycle update, we've got six new summoner icons for you guys to peruse. There's no word on availability yet, but there's Zombie Brand, Slayer Pantheon, and some World Championship teams that you guys can partake of. Like I said, no idea when they'll be available, but as soon as we're able to find out, we'll pass the details on to you. Two new login themes have also hit the PBE. One is for the World Championship, which you can see right here. Ooh. And the other one is for the zombie skins that we touched on last week. Here you'll see Jinx in a awesome stylized art and some really awesome new music. Here's a little sample for you. I don't know about you guys, but I love the new champion teasers. It's always nice to uh, get the speculation brewing and seeing what's going to be happening on the horizon to keep our roster diverse. Now, there is a new champion selection quote from something called Illidoy. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his or her name correctly, but the audio is in Portuguese. If you haven't heard it, here's a sample right now. Não sou muito fã de sermões. Ossos quebrados ensinam melhor. Now, the fan translation of that reads, I'm not a fan of giving lectures. Broken bones are a better teacher. I'm um, not really sure what that refers to. Uh, that file doesn't exist on the PBE anymore, so we're wondering if that was put mistakenly or if someone was just having some fun trying to poke some teasers in our lives. Either way, really exciting. So as soon as we're able to get more information, we'll pass it on to you. We got some new ranked reward borders for all you people trying to climb the ranks. I'm still trying to climb the gold myself. And for everyone in every tier above, here's a little preview of how you might look at the end of the season for your ranked border trip. Now it looks like there's some new option exists for party chat. You're able to take the people that you're queuing up with and you're able to talk with them. Now, just with some speculation here, trying to give some insight to you guys for what this feature might be used for. Presumably this feature will allow to talk only to those you've queued with in game rather than needing to use whispers. So we're gonna have to see how that one turns out if that's going to be something that's implemented. Also in this PBE update cycle, there are some new assets included. There's a master related file called Keystone Mastery's View. Now this new file contains several new mastery page assets, including a set of background panels. Uh, they're not really usable in game yet, but here's a small sample of what they look like. Now at the moment, these new assets aren't observable in the client. There's no way to interact with them or anything, but with pre-season coming right up, it wouldn't be surprising if these were intertwined somehow or related. Also hitting the PBE are over 500 centered art asset splashes. Now normally the splash art in League of Legends for Champions is focused to the right, but these assets bring the champion to the middle. They're zoomed in, so you're getting everything. Uh, there's not a lot of random uh, unused backgrounds as we're used to seeing. They aren't going to be replacing the normal splashes we're used to seeing. They are just additional assets. Also in this update, there were some strings added referring to some new version of Summoner's Rift, a uh, work in progress or something or other. Now calm down, this is not sandbox mode. We cannot celebrate yet. And from last week's video, I missed a balance update from Gangplank, nerf to his base HP and a nerf to his Parley, which is his Q, will hopefully make him a little bit easier to deal with. We'll see if those changes hit live. Also, is gonna get half the experience points from his W rather than full. And with that, that's gonna wrap up patch 5.21 cycle. Please let me know how I did in the comments, if there's anything I might have missed or any way that this show can be made as awesome as possible. I'm trying to improve from last week and I hope that I did a good job. If you like the video, please consider showing your support by liking and subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Special thanks to Surrender20 for collaborating with me to bring this content to you guys. And for all PBE-related updates for League of Legends, please visit Surrender20.net. Until next time, I'm Black Enola, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, depending on what time of day you're watching this. Oh, baby. Yes!